today we are going to talk about lecture 2 before starting lecture 2 uh, i would like to request all of you whenever you are watching a video which is in english on youtube try to turn on the captions in case if something mumbles up or there is a network issue while recording the lecture so that you can read it from the caption other than misunderstanding what was said during the lecture so now begin with the lecture first thing first whenever you start a software any software not about autocad but any software whenever whenever you start so basic is f1 function 1 key that is for help which helps you in learning the software in case if you found no one to help you with the software and when you begin a software first thing that you need to set is the dimension so for that we you have to select a units so here you can go for format and their units basically i open this menu bar so that students who are using old versions of the autocad software can find units here you can click from here if you are using if you are using the latest version then you can simply type units in the command bar and then press enter a pop up window will open from where you can select the length type from decimal architecture engineering fraction and scientific if you will pick architecture or engineering by default american standard it will show you that the units are in feet and inches but as in india we are using millimeter so we will select decimal and then in angle we are using degrees not minute second grades radians or sabian units so we will select decimal degrees and here we will select the scale in which we will like to work units is millimeter presently we are using as a mechanical engineer we'll do okay here after this your designing work will start so the first command that comes under draw tool in old version it is like this draw in draw you can see line ray construction line multi line whereas in the latest new version in this ribbon you can check the first sub tool sub bar is draw tools in which you can have first command as line you can select the command from here from shortcut or you can take it from the draw and then line and other option for selecting line is by typing line in the command bar and enter or other option that can that you can use is l and then enter so by pressing l and entering you will open up the line command and here you can always read in the command bar what it is asking you as it is a very helpful software it will guide you on your every step so first step point is we can click anywhere on the screen and we can start as a amateur but as a professional we have to select the reference of the sheet on which we are going to work so this is your workspace in black color we can select with 0, 0 which is basically the center point or a reference point axis point of the workspace so after this there are three methods of making a line in the autocad software first method is your polar method second method is your coordinate method third method is your ortho method from here you can see like there are three methods first method is polar line in this we will select the format of at the red symbol then line tough line then symbol of angle and then angle from the point of origin so these are the examples like at the rate 100 length angle 0 degree at 80 length angle 221 degree at 63 length angle 197 degree so here i will show you also in the software presently i had selected 0 0 zero the reference of the drawing sheet so now i will begin with at the rate 
hundred, then angle symbol, then zero. Basically, I had made a line here. Further, I will continue with at the rate eighty, angle ninety, or making a vertical straight line. Then at the rate hundred, angle one eighty degree, and the reason for that is because we are selecting from this place the line is going to this side why we are using at the rate symbol as a polar method because in by selecting at the rate we are defining the point we are standing right now as origin point rather than the reference point of the sheet so at the rate 80 angle 270 because we are covering 0 to 90, 90 to 180, and then 180 to 70 degree. So here your rectangle is complete. To deactivate the command, there are four ways. First is you can press escape button. Second is you can press space bar button. Third is you can press enter. And fourth is you can select any other command to deactivate the last command. So this was your polar method. Uh, drawings have been given to you guys. If there is any requirement, you can message the photo of the drawing or you can directly WhatsApp me at my number. We'll make a video for that also. So let's move to the next drawing in which we will go with coordinate method. Coordinate method is basically your x comma y method. In which you will get, give dimension as 0, 0, 100, 20, 20, 50, same way, right? So now I will show you a method here. Firstly, we will remove this one. Okay, then you can go for line or L as it suits you. 0, 0. This is your coordinate method. Then the next step is you're defining the end point of other straight line end of the straight line 100 comma 0 so you are defining basically that it will move 100 in x and 0 in y by entering it will make a line here so now going to the next coordinate you will define it here like 0 in x is and 80 in y you will press enter and it will make a straight vertical line because now my line is not moving in any x direction so going back here, you will make it minus 100 because we are going in second and third quadrant, 180 degree. So we'll make minus 100, comma, 0. And now downside, you will have to make it like 0 in axis and minus 80 downwards. Okay. So you can see this thing also in the command bar by press by pressing F2. It will show you what commands you have used like 100 comma 0, 0 comma 0, 100 comma 0, 0 comma 80, minus 100 comma 0, 0 minus 80. You can also view the old method that you have used, the commands that you have used here. To hide this thing, you can press F2 again. So this was your coordinate method. Now go to the last method that is your ortho method which basically you use or you can start by pressing F8 as a shortcut. You just need to direct, directly put the value here. Uh, if I am going for line command, I am going for 0, 0 if required. If don't required, you can start it from anywhere. In ortho you can start it from anywhere. Just took the line, line command click anywhere on the screen and by pressing F8 you will start the ortho command in the line by which your cursor will move in horizontal direction horizontal forward horizontal backward vertical upward vertical downward so by moving the cursor you can define the dimensions and press enter then vertical direction it will be 80 then horizontal backward side I am going 100 and then back side downside I am going 80 and then enter 
to remove the command to release the command so by this method you can use line and you can complete your first drawings so i hope you have learned something today in autocad second lecture let's meet in next lecture and discuss about other options in the draw tools which are array construction line and different other options if you specifically want some drawing video you can tell me i will create the video and post it it for you so that you guys can practice and your doubts may be clear on this so that's all for today thank you happy learning